Welcome back to Tops Web. In this video, we're going to return back to the system admin and take a quick look at an important feature called the billing code table. Now, a billing code table will allow you to tap into some other functionality within dot project, and it's a great tool for setting up invoicing and that's that type of thing. Um, one thing you might have noticed in the resources tutorial was that unlike Microsoft Project where you would associate cost to a particular resource, um, here we have, we kind of go with task oriented pricing. Um, and it's really more of a price versus cost uh, outlook on things I think. Um, for me personally I use the pricing, the different pricing in the billing code table and it doesn't really track costs so um, there's still some growth on dot project that needs to occur no doubt but I think this method is a, a bit easier to use as the same resource can be different billing codes so I myself I'm a web developer I'm a content writer web designer graphics <laughs> project manager um, I'm a man of many hats and in something like Microsoft Project I would have to have myself listed in there as a different resource for each task type or uh, group type so not the case here but again it's again that you're probably going to be take your cho take your poison whether you're going to be tracking cost or or price and um, for the task incurred so Without further ado, let me uh, give you a quick example of how uh, I would set this up. Let's uh, do content writing, for instance. If you don't select a company, it is kind of your generic. Um, I do suggest that you create these per um, per company, though. Um, the way I like to do is create the generic and then print that out. Unfortunately, you can't import between companies but let's do content writing and we'll call it 40 and writing for product pages I don't know if that's a good price or not but charge whatever you want and let's say server administration stuff no one else will do <laughs> and hit submit okay so this is the billing table that we've we've created here uh, one more um, record um, tutorials and I don't know uh, let's just make it 40 I guess and I always add for all of my tables I add one more in here called material expense I, I rarely use it um, but it's a very when you need it you need it and this is just a unit price put hours as one hour per dollar and what I use this for is if I have to purchase something I'll just uh, say it's fifty dollars then I'll charge uh, under this billing code fifty hours or something like that um, and not associate it to a dependency you can do it in obviously it doesn't have to be one dollar increments it just makes it a little easier um, at a later time when you go to bill it and that sort of thing um, if you could literally come in here and put uh, material expense one dollar material expense ten dollars and then you know 
figure it up that way. But I like having a one dollar increment of something that you can use because it, it does come in handy when you need it. So, so that's our billing table. Um, not too complicated, right? And I'll show you in the task logs where this comes into play. Let's go to tasks and let's do a log. And under here is a cost code. If I pick content writing, and as you can see, that is just the n numeric code that's for the database that's tied to it. And I can, let's say I did four hours of server administration. I completed backups. I don't know, something like that. And just leave that not defined in with 20%. Now, obviously we're under the record project attribute videos probably server administration isn't the correct one we'd used record tutorials and we did not complete backups we recorded successfully with no issues and I should spell it correctly all right update task 